Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back here once again to tell you a little bit more about Google Classroom and in this case another one of the great updates that came through in the latest update um, from the Google for Education blog. And in this one they have added a great feature to the stream. As we all know, those that have been using Google Classroom in the stream it's always been organized by the most recent post up top and then it just knocks everything down. Um, and we've talked many times about one way to go around doing that was the three dots and you can move one post back to the top. Well they have finally created a new way to help organize your stream because we all know in the course of, of a school year there's a lot that can be pushed into that. So we've talked a lot about how to number assignments from 001, 002 to keep things organized in the drive and for students but check this new feature out. Anytime now you create an assignment this new feature is right here, this topic. So I can have my title, uh, we'll just call it Classroom because we're talking about Google Classroom and I can post my instructions on how to insert a topic. You know, I can do my regular attachments like, like I've always done. But check this out, right here is this feature of topic. Right now it says no topic, but I could create one. And I could label this Google Classroom. And then I could go through and I could assign that. What that's going to allow me to do for, for students and, and for teachers um, is a really great thing. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this and these people are going to be a little upset because they're going to get a notification here. Um, but now I can filter my stream and I can click on a topic and see only posts for that topic. So now all the topics that I start to use are going to show up right here. This is the same thing for students. And so you could have sixth grade social studies, Egypt, and then Rome, and then whatever if it's by subject matter. Maybe you have it by standard. You could have this by quarter. You can make the topic system that you want. And when you were to click on this, what it'll do is it'll restructure the classroom and it'll show every post that has that topic. How great is that, guys? This is just one more way, a simple measure within Google Classroom to keep our lives more organized, more fluid, and just make things a lot easier if we dive into the Google Classroom. If you have questions, let me know. Feedback, ideas, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this thing and how you plan on using it because the more that we share how we could possibly use this topic option, the better off we're all going to be. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to sharing some more information soon and I look more forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.